Hi guys, how's your day going? In this video, we'll look into how to access PHP My Admin via the SSH uh, tunnel. And we will try to access the PHP My Admin of this uh, website, hongleetech.com. So now uh, I just quickly uh, show you what's inside the PHP My Admin before we get into how to access this. Okay, so now I'm gonna just enter my username and also my password. Just click on the go button. Let me just quickly navigate to the Bitnami WordPress. So here we can have access to all of this. And I can just uh, click on one of this to see, say in this case, this is the comment section. So when I click on the uh, columns, you can also see that we have access to each type of this um, structure, the structure of the table and the uh, SQL here as well. So there's a lot more comment. I can also read all of the comment what's inside this here. So that's uh, what we're going to connect to this PHP my admin. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, first thing first, we're going to install the Putty application. Um, if you watch my previous video, you can also see that I installed the Putty key generator applications. Uh, and in this video, we will install the full application. Uh, that also come with the key generator as well so that we can have access to the PHP my admin now let's just click on the first link here and you can just click on this link to download the party all right so now let's just click on this uh, in this case I'm using the window 10 uh, 64 bit if yours is 32 bit then just download the first one so I'm going to go with the second one here. The installation file has been downloaded. Now let's just click this to open. Install. And finish. Okay, so now we have uh, download this and also finish installing as well now let's just search for uh, party here so once you search you can see that we have two uh, this is the key generator and this is the application itself so now i'm going to go with this one first and what we need to do we need to just click on this uh, generate button and we try to uh, hover the mouth on here all right click on that and just moving your mouse over here and in here the key command this is the username i'm going to change this to hongli text so once you change you can also see that the value uh, at the end here also change as well so now i'm going to also save the private key as well so it asks me whether i want to add a password to this so not going to do that now click on the yes button all right, so here you can see that I uh, have created a new folder. It's called um, WordPress Putty Key. And inside this, a try the. Now I just need to give it a name. I'm going to call this as a private key. Right here should be the SSH, just like that. And I click on the Save button. All right, so now let's head over to cloud.google.com and just click on the console button to go to your project so now let's go to the compute engine you can also click on here to go to that as well the shortcut but uh, i'm going to go here first the navigation menu and then try to search or look for the uh, compute engine so here you can just go with the vm instances so once you're here you can just click on this then click on the edit button okay so now let's just scroll down let me try to search for the word ssh so here it is this is the ssh key let's just click on the show here what we need to do we need to add our uh, ssh key here so i'm going to uh, copy this 
while you right here that we just generated uh, inside the pretty key generator just copy that control C and paste it right here control V okay so now once we have that you can also see that the username also detected here as well so now um, just scroll down and click on the sale button all right so now that we have uh, added the SSH key um, as in here and next is going back to the uh, VM uh, instance or you can also just click on this one here as well so let's just click on this okay so now what you need to do you need uh, to to copy the uh, external IP right here just copy that and I'm going to also call, uh, open up my uh, party demand application all right so not this one here this is the key generator I'm going to go with the second one here okay so here this is the uh, main interface of this uh, application so what I need to do now just paste the uh, external IP address that I just copied from here just paste that in here and also with the sales sessions I'll do that the same as here so this is uh, you can see that this is one of my uh, previous one I'm going to delete this uh, for now so now let's just save this one here these two uh, that we just paste in just save that so you can see that here it is uh, it's alright uh, stay here so the next thing that you are going to do is to click on the SSH and click on the auth which uh, stand for authentication so now we need to uh, browse our private key that I just saved previously so here inside the drive D and inside the uh, WordPress buddy key folder and here this is the one that we just saved so now let's just select that one and open this one here so now let's just uh, click on the tunnel tab and what we need to do we need to enter the uh, source port so in this case I'm going to go with the 8888 so here this is the port um, source port and for the destination here I'm going to go with the local host and so as you can see for the current application let me just open my website first all right so you can see that this is my current um, website so you can see this is the uh, with the kind of certificate as well so I use the let encrypt and also this is the uh, SSL enable or the HTTPS but if your website doesn't have the SSL or HTTPS enable uh, but yours is in HTTP then what you need to do just come here so here in the destination uh, local host uh, colon what you need to do 80 so this is without the SSL enable but uh, in the, this case mine uh, have the uh, SSL enable so I need to enter the uh, number 443 all right so next step here is under the uh, connection just click on this data and here this is the auto login username so the username uh, mine uh, just enter is uh, Hongli tagged and right here uh, I think we pretty much good to go now let's just go back to the sessions uh, let's just uh, have a quick look again to see if we uh, miss something okay so here this is the off we have browse the private key here and also the tunnel so um, here I think all right so um i think we miss adding the uh, add uh, button and click on the add button so this is very important just click on this one here okay so now uh this is the data that we have this is the username all right so this time let's just go back again and click on the sale button now let's just click on the open button it try to connect to the uh, username here Hongli Tech. And you can also see that it's authenticated with this public key and also uh, now it seems to be successful let's just enter the URL in the browser alright so how I have just uh, entered this URL here so it's supposed to be HTTPS if yours is not HTTPS then just uh, leave it as HTTP now let's just uh, here this is the number uh, one uh, 27.0.0.1 colon and here therefore uh, 8 and slash php my admin just enter this link here 
All right, so here you can see that uh, this is the uh, URL once we enter that. And here, because uh, right here, I just entered the HTTPS uh, here, the HTTPS, that's the reason why it's showing this, but that's not an issue. Just click on the Advent button and proceed to this uh, URL. All right, so here, as you can see that uh, we have successfully uh, be able to access the uh, PHP my admin but uh, the question is what is the username and what about the password okay so um, here this is not the username that we just enter Hongli Tech but uh, now let's just go back here to the uh, VAM instance just click on this uh, right here now let's just scroll down a little bit and looking for the uh, Bitnami base password so here this is the one let me just copy this here, here, PHP my admin. So the username would be root and paste it here, the password. Click on the go button, it try to log in into the PHP my admin. Alright, so here as you can see that we have successfully entered the PHP my admin. Now let's just uh, look into this a little bit. Uh, here, this is the Bitnami uh, WordPress. So in this case, I can just click on the WP comments. So you can see that this is the comment that uh, is on the website. And what about the other should be like posts. Okay, so here this is the post. You can see that we can also see the post title and this is the content and this is all the time. So we have the sample page, privacy. This is the very first uh, page um, uh, post for the welcome to my YouTube channel. If you watch my very first uh, WordPress tutorial video and there's a lot more here. And you can also see that we can also access to the uh, users, user meta. There's a lot more here. And I'm not gonna go into detail into this. So. Um, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. We learn how to access the PHP my admin uh, from the start up until now. So I hope you learn uh, something from this video. And if you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to click on the like button and also ask me any question in the comment section. And see you guys in the next video.